Hello everyone. I'm back and uh, today I'm going to share with you another interesting stuff for mathematics teachers. You know that uh, teaching of mathematics involves lots and lots of uh, things at uh, different levels. In primary level, then uh, middle level, secondary level, senior secondary levels. The needs of uh, children are different. And uh, it has been rightly said that as a teacher, we have to use blended strategies, mixed approaches to reach to every child in the classroom because all children are different and they learn in a unique manner. So sometimes uh, using uh, games and puzzles in the classroom proves very beneficial. It actually helps the teacher in breaking the monotony of teaching learning. It acts like uh, an external motivation to the children. And sometimes the children who are not good in math, but once when they do something in the form of a game or a puzzle, they feel motivated and encouraged and they start loving the subject. So using games and puzzles for teaching learning of mathematics is a very good strategy. I personally feel that it can help at all levels. It depends on the teacher basically. But at uh, primary level and uh, middle school level, these things are very, very useful. Nowadays, we are teaching in an online environment. So in this particular video, I am going to share with you two websites, about two websites, which are quite handy and easy to use for creating games and puzzles for the children. And uh, it will really add a flavor in your teaching learning environment and help you as a teacher for getting connected with children in a better way. So let me start. So are you ready for breaking the monotony? Yes, of course, I can understand that. So let us explore the first website and it is puzzlemaker.discoveryeducation.com and uh, here this is a free website. The link is given over here. So let me do the live demonstration how to use this website for creating interesting games and puzzles for the children. So you can see that uh, on this website, there is an option for teachers for creating a word search puzzle, crisscross puzzle, double puzzles, fallen phrases, math squares, mazes, letter tiles, then cryptograms, number blocks, hidden messages. Now you can see that all these are a part of recreational mathematics. Sometimes, you know, uh, we have to use such things in a classroom, like say, for example, Saturday is approaching and we want to give something interesting to students, we can give that. Or sometimes we are having a math enrichment class, so we can use, th use these things. So let us explore the first one, word search. My dear friends, I am teaching mathematics from past 24 years and I've experienced that uh, uh, mathematics has a beautiful vocabulary and uh, we have to use uh, strategies in a classroom for enhancing the vocabulary because vocabulary is a building block. So at primary level, middle level, then secondary level, of course, also uh, vocabulary plays an important role. So let us see how to use this uh, word search puzzle for enhancing and developing vocabulary in mathematics. So here it is written uh, to create your word search. Follow the steps below and click the create my word search button when you are done. So simple. So first step is enter the title for your word search. Okay, let me make a word search on uh, basic uh, parts of the circle. Fine. 
so basic parts of circle so this is a topic children they study in uh, grade 6 7 8 9 and 10 also so you can use it anywhere and you can change the vocabulary as per the knowledge of the children so let me go to step two. It says, enter the size of your word search puzzle. I am taking it, okay, 15 by 15. I will not make any change. Step three, word search puzzle option. Share letters occasionally. That's pretty okay. HTML type, I will not make any change. Okay, so here it says at step number five, enter your words. And uh, instruction is given that separate your words with commas, spaces, or uh, type each word on a new line. Okay, I'll do that. So let me start writing the vocabulary. Circle, radius, diameter, chord, then uh, sector, segment, Okay, if you are in grade 9 or 10, I want them to learn tangent, secant, fine, arc. Okay, I can take as many words. So here, see how simple it is. It is saying create my puzzle. See how easy it is to create this puzzle. These are the words. And uh, you can give... Uh, the screenshot of this to the children as a assignment in their Google Classroom as well. I hope uh, this is clear. Okay, now I am coming to the next one. So next one is in this same website. It is crisscross. So let us see what is this crisscross. So it says enter the title of your crisscross puzzle. Okay. It's the same. I'm doing parts of circle. Okay, it is saying enter the number of squares for your puzzle, 50 by 50. Size, fine. Enter the words and clues. Okay, interesting. So in this case, that means we are going to make uh, uh, this uh, crossword kind of a stuff. So for this, what I have done is I have created a document on which word followed by the hint is already typed so before making this i've done this task so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to paste it what i have done if you wish, would like to see this i have written the word followed by the hint and then click create my puzzle so interestingly uh, in just fraction of seconds you get this particular Puzzle. So you see that what you can do is use a snipping tool and then uh, take a picture of this. It is handy and go to your document and you can uh, write down instructions for the children and see the puzzle is ready. And you can give this uh, as an activity to the children in the Google Classroom or, you know, whatever medium you are using for connecting with the children. So... Dear friends, you see how easy it is to create uh, customized crosswords like, you know, whatever you have taught. And uh, using that, you can create different types of puzzles. See, crypt cryptograms are there. I hope you can explore this website. This is I'm repeating puzzlemaker.discoveryeducation.com. I will be adding on the link of this website in the comment uh, in the description also so that you can take it up from there. So in my YouTube channel, you can find this link in the description. And my dear friends, uh, keep watching this video because uh, now I am going to share with you another interesting website. And that is my favorite where I am... Uh, able to create something very very interesting and that is jigsaw puzzles and children really really enjoy solving this uh, whether you do it in the normal classroom or you do it in the online classroom children really love to play jigsaw primary school children the middle school children even you can try it with secondary classes as well and see 
how uh, uh, I have used it in my math classroom. So let us go to this uh, particular website. Uh, it says uh, jigsawplanet.com. You can see this is my account over there. And uh, go to my puzzles. You will find these are the puzzles. Different. I have for for you. I have specially uh, created this, and I have taken here three different ways of uh, taking up these uh, jigsaw puzzles in the classroom. Now let, let me explore the first one. Uh, this is quite interesting. This is a. Uh, basically for uh, 10 grams. So you know that th these are the 10 gram pieces. So what what the children they do, once you create it, then you can share uh, the link or you can embed this particular puzzle in your website or blog. So you can copy this and uh, paste it in your uh, blog like I did in my blog. I'll show you where is it it is it is available so my blog is mathematicslearning.blogspot.com so i will share the link of this also so that you can explore it in the description you will find it so you see you see this here it is uh, mentioned that what are the benefits of playing a jigsaw puzzle number one it acquires it helps in acquiring skills of rotation translation of an object then develops critical thinking, which uh, piece will fit in where and why, and then improves observational skills and instill confidence and sense of achievement. So let me see, like I share this uh, with the children. So you can uh, see here that, uh, say for example, it is uh, play as uh, 25 piece, then you can decide in, this is a, load this this uh, start a new game okay so you see that this is a 25 piece puzzle uh if you wish to play like custom say for example nine piece so play you get this one and then you can play the game so this is uh, original and uh, here it appears like this. Now you see when the children are solving this, now you observe carefully what is happening, what the children will try to do. You just observe carefully the different possibilities. Fine, see color matching is there. How beautifully you will decide like which piece will fit in where by just uh, checking the orientation and everything. See, isn't it interesting? I really appreciate uh, trying this stuff with the uh, children because it helps in uh, uh, creating a lot of observation developing a lot of observation and then uh, enhancing the critical thinking and then uh, helping them uh, uh, visualize the various possibilities. See how we have solved it. So uh, now I'm coming back to how to create this particular kind of a puzzle. So let me come back. So for creating this puzzle, the process is very, very simple. So what we have to do is uh, click on the create button and then the template is very, very simple. So choose the file. Basically, you have to select an image like I have uh, picked up few images here. So let me make one uh, jigsaw puzzle on types of quadrilaterals. So I'm going to pick up this. So let it be it by it is saying it is 35 piece puzzle i can reduce the number of pieces say to 12 i can increase it as also and tag it then i write the uh, types of uh, quadrilaterals uh, people are uh, normally think that jigsaw puzzle uh oh this is a this is for nursery children or this is for uh, 
like smaller children it depends on you how you wish to take this particular tool into your classroom and then create it now see the image which with the puzzle which will be created after the children will join they will be able to aggregate the knowledge and understanding of uh, different types of quadrilaterals so these are the pieces now i show you wh what will be the final answer to this you see this uh, here it is it is jigsaw puzzles see this is the final thing which they will be getting in the end so they will uh, recapitulate okay in a quadrilateral family we have uh, different types of quadrilaterals sky rhombus square parallelogram rectangle then trapezium then isosceles trapezium so don't you think it will uh, add one element in their mind when at that particular point they will be able to recapitulate whatever they and you know one thing i would like to tell you my dear friends that figure speaks like this image is there in front of them and it is getting clicked in their mind and some information is getting stored so they are able to recognize the different types of uh, quadrilaterals by looking at it so in a fun way the children are able to understand the concept plus uh, they are uh, playing and then they are able to get the relevant answers so i hope uh, you will be using uh, these two particular websites i will be adding the links of these websites in the description box so keep on exploring and sharing your experience and uh, in my next video i will be sharing with you some other interesting things which you can do online with children in your classrooms have a nice time thank you so much bye bye